Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here. Back again with another video. Um, let's get right into it. You see the thumbnail. You see the title. Um, the Derek Carr contract situation with the Raiders right now is a little um, suspicious. Um, and I think it is It's one of the quieter stories that's going on right now. Um, but it is a story. And it is something that should be um, covered and talked about. So, basically, the Raiders have done a... a pretty good job in, in free agency um, under the new regime, new uh, head coach, Josh McDaniels, new GM, uh, Dave Ziegler. And uh, both those guys come from New England. You know, they come from the Bill Belichick uh, system. So um, both those guys know what it takes to, to build a, 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 a team that can compete, a winning team, um, you know, especially in a loaded AFC West and a loaded AFC uh, conference. So they, they, they know, they know what to do. Um, and, you know, they, they have, they, they've shown that they can make some pretty good decisions, you know, as far as free agency goes. Um, the Raiders have historically been bad in the draft, so I think if the Raiders, um, if they have a pretty good draft, then I think that they will be, um, they'll be on a path to contention um, for this season and, and, you know, moving on into the next seasons as well, too. Um, but I did think that it was interesting that the Raiders spent all this money. Um, they gave out all this guaranteed money to uh, Chandler Jones, uh, Max Crosby, um, obviously the Devontae Adams trade was huge, but the Raiders did not take care of Derek Carr, um, whose contract, you know, uh, expired after last season. Um, they did not take care of him and they did not, um, sign him to an extension first, which I thought was very, very interesting. Um, but at the end of the day, I think, what, what does that really say about the Raiders and their commitment to Derek Carr? Um, obviously a new regime, just like I mentioned, um, that tells me that they are not really in love with Derek Carr. Um, they might be in like with him, but they're not in love with him. Um, and you know, they're smart. Like I said, they come from the, uh, New England system, Bill Belichick. They're smart. They understand that Derek Carr is a good quarterback. He's a good enough quarterback. Um, and he's good enough to be called a franchise stabilizer. He's a guy who can stabilize your franchise. Um, you know, so that that way, you know, you're not running around like you're chicken with your head cut off. You know, um, the the teams who do not have quarterbacks um, are kind of just scrambling and and you know just kind of throwing stuff at the wall, seeing if it sticks, right? Um, but that's a, that's a position that needs to be addressed, right? Even when you're moving on from a guy, um, you know, you should good GMs, good organizations, good franchises recognize that you're going to move on from a guy, and then they will you know address that need. Um, directly in the draft, you know, within, in the first round of the draft, or, you know, they're going to sign somebody, you know, sign a, a, a good bridge quarterback to um, keep you afloat, right? That's what most good, you know, organizations, well-run organizations do. But I think this is very telling of the Raiders, um, and I think it is – my personal feeling, I think that Derek Carr will re-sign with the Raiders um, – at what point, I don't know, but I think he will resign with the Raiders. Um, the quarterback market is not um, hot right now as far as, you know, being a free agent quarterback. There's not a lot of teams to choose from. You know, you're looking at the Seahawks, um, you know, maybe maybe the, maybe the possibly the Lions. Maybe you can contend with Jared Goff for his starting spot. Um, but there aren't a lot of openings right now at this point. Um, so I think Derek Carr, he – probably want you know I'm sure he wants to re-sign with the Raiders you know uh but the Raiders have not really showed him the respect that I think that he has deserved as a starting quarterback um and I thought Josh McDaniels had a a quote um the uh league meetings um have just started this this week um and he had a quote that I thought was very very interesting I'm going to read it really quickly um and I think it, it kind of gives you kind of gives you a barometer of where the Raiders are at, you know, as far as the head coach, the GM, and all that stuff, where they're at on Derek Carr. The the quote is very interesting. Okay, uh, quote from Josh McDaniels. Uh, Derek is going to have to, de Derek is going to have to make decisions about what's best for him, and we have to try to do what's best for the team. Then uh, there will be a sweet spot there, hopefully, uh, there will be a sweet spot there, hopefully, for everybody. So he is, he's pretty much saying, yeah, we want to resign Derek Carr, but he is Indirectly, I think this is this goes indirectly to what the contract negotiations are probably um, like right now. And I think Derek Carr is probably because we heard the reports like after the season, Derek Carr was 
probably going to be looking for um, an extension of forty million per year um, and upwards. The Raiders have already spent a bunch of money. They've already committed a bunch of guaranteed money to the free agents, just like I, I mentioned um, earlier. So I think that there is there's probably a number that the Raiders um, with their max is, and I think Derek Carr might be looking for a little more. Um, so I think that they're they're really not on the same page as far as the contract negotiations uh, go right now. Now, will will the Raiders you know as time goes on will the Raiders say you know okay we'll we'll give you you know we'll give you what you're what you're asking for or at least closer to what you're asking for um, or will Derek Carr say you know I'll go ahead and take what you guys are offering I, I think one of those two things will, will happen and I think Derek Carr will be resigned but it is very um, like I said it's very telling and I think uh, if if you're Derek Carr are you disrespected by this um, you build this 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 team you know you bring in all this free agent talent um, you know, you trade for one of his best friends, you know, one of his college wide receivers in Devontae Adams, but you don't take care of him, you know, off the bat. And I think that that is a little, you know, it, it could be deemed a little bit um, disrespectful. It, I know I would I would feel some type of way, you know, I wouldn't go scorched earth or anything, but I would feel some type of way that, hey, you know, I should be taken care of first because nothing happens without the quarterback. Nothing, nothing happens without the quarterback, you know, it doesn't matter what talent they get on defense, offense, whatever. If you don't have a guy that can, you know, deliver the ball accurately to all of these uh, weapons who you're going to, you know, you're getting, it doesn't really, none of it really makes any difference at all. So I think the Raiders made a mistake in not taking care of that. Now, as far as the Raiders go, as far as the organization goes, I think that they are holding out for, and again, my personal opinion, I haven't heard anything, whatever, um, I think they're holding out for Tom Brady next year. Um, I think Tom Brady's going to be – Tom Brady, you know, he, he will be a free agent next year. Um, so he will be able to sign with whatever team he wants to sign with. Now, you know, obviously retirement's on the table and all that stuff. We, we, we went through all of that. But I think the Raiders are holding out for a Tom Brady. Because when you look around at the other quarterback options, um, even going into next season, most of the, the star quarterbacks – the great quarterbacks are locked up or, you know, they're going to be locked up, you know, very soon. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of movement around the, you know, the, 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 the quarterback carousel um, coming up. You know, you, you have a, you have a better draft next, next year's draft will be uh, better as far as quarterback prospects go than this year's, but still, you know, you're still kind of, uh, you know, if there's a guy that you really, really like, then yes, but, you know, at this point, I think it's still too early to tell, you know, who is really going to be a good NFL player, you know. So I think that the Raiders are holding out. I think they're holding out for Tom Brady. He's the only guy that comes to mind who's going to be a free agent who really um, can move the needle, you know, there in in Vegas. So I think the Raiders are not, um, like I said, I don't think that they're in love with Derek Carr. I think that they're in life. Um, and a, a, another thing to pay attention to as well, too, because like I said, I do believe that an extension will get done. Um, the numbers, I don't know. Um, but I think it is very, very important when the extension does get done, um, pay attention to what the contract terms are. Um, like I said before in several videos, a lot of funny money in these NFL contracts, a lot of, um, you know, offset language, uh, kind of crazy wording and, and stuff that goes into these NFL contracts. Um, and NFL contracts are like snowflakes, like no two are alike. There's everybody's contract differs a little bit in language and, and stuff, you know, especially depending on position and how much money you're making and all of that stuff. But when Derek Carr and the Raiders do get the extension done, pay attention to the terms of the deal, pay attention to the guaranteed money, um, and pay attention to the overall structure of the contract, because that'll let you know, uh, if the Raiders are going to be willing to move off of Derek Carr. Um, because if he does sign a contract that is, you know, quote-unquote team-friendly, right, and it is not um, an albatross of a contract where you're just not, you're just, you know, paying this guy a, 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 a boatload of money every year, you know, guaranteed or whatever. If it is a quarter, if it's a, excuse me, if it's a uh, team-friendly contract, um, that's a, that's a contract that can be traded, right? You, you can trade that contract to teams who are going to be looking for a quarterback, right? You can possibly um, 
you know, put him on the market and, and get draft capital back in return, right? Um, and that that would be if the Raiders do move off of Derek Carr, that would probably probably be the the best case scenario. Um, the other scenario, though, for them to move off of him would be how would they load the contract? Is it the guaranteed money? Is it front loaded? Is it back loaded? Um, you know, just different different things like that. You know, similar to the uh, Jimmy Garoppolo contract with the Niners. You know, he went. You know, he got traded to the Niners. Um, he signed that huge deal. Um, I can't remember how much money it was, but I, I think the annual value was like twenty eight million. And this is before the the quarterback boom. This was this was what five six years ago, whatever it was. Um, way before the boom happened, with all the quarterbacks started making a, a, a boatload of money. Uh, but Garoppolo's contract was front loaded, so I think he got a really significant signing bonus. Um, I think there was like some incentives and stuff like in the first couple of years of the contract. So I think after like year three of the contract, they were able to completely. Um, move off of Jimmy Garoppolo and I think it would have been like a seven to eight million dollar like dead cap hit on their cap so it was a contract that wasn't going to hamstring the the 49ers if Jimmy Garoppolo didn't uh, produce the way that they wanted him to produce um, they could have got out of it really really easy with a uh, very small dead cap hit so I think the Raiders and Derek Carr will probably have a similar type of structure contract obviously it's going to be more money now because uh you know just that's just what quarterbacks are making they're making way more money but uh it, it's going to be interesting to see what they do um as far as his contract goes like i, I want to see the length i want to see the length of it um you know like i said guaranteed money how much uh uh how much the total value of the contract is as well too um and what other teams think about it as far as trading as well as well too um you know, because we've seen some guys with bad contracts get traded. Carson Wentz has gotten traded twice, um, and there's been two teams who have been willing to take on his his uh, you know his huge cap number, um, you know, for the you know minimal production that he provides or whatever. But it you know it, it's it's going to be very interesting to see. And I think is is Derek Carr going to go back to the Raiders? Yes, yes, I think he is, and I think it's likely, probable. Um, but is there a scenario where Derek Carr does not sign with the Raiders and go somewhere else? Um, that is possible. I think it's unlikely. I don't think that is likely, but I think it is possible. And I think um, we're at a point right now where we're kind of hitting, you know, the first wave of free agency started and, you know, a bunch of players got signed, a bunch of movement, trades, whatever it's in that. Um, I think we're going to be hitting the second wave of free agency here pretty soon. Um, so I think there... If, if the Raiders are smart, they will try to get this done as best as they can. Um, and it doesn't matter how they feel about them, whether they want them their long-term, short-term, or whatever. But get get the position solidified, um, especially with the draft coming up, OTAs and all that stuff. You know, you're going to have – I can't. I, I think the Raiders have like six or seven draft picks. So those are guys you're going to have to get under contract as well too. You know, so you're going to have to play with the cap. So the sooner they get Derek Carr signed – the better it um, will be for their franchise. You know, they can they they will be able to move forward. Um, you know, under the new regime. But you know, the longer this plays out, the more news is going to make. Um, it's not really making news yet because you know the 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 off season is still young, um, free agency is still young, um, still in the first first phase of it. But you know. Every day that goes on that this does not get taken care of is going to um, – there's going to be more and more talk about this. And, uh, you know, it, it should be. It should be. The, the, the pressure is really on the Raiders right now to get this going. You know, you do not want to, you know, make all of these significant moves um, in free agency and not have a quarterback. That would be um, – that would be some of the stupidest, uh, you know – GMing or uh, that would be really really stupid. Um, you have all this talent and then you you run uh, who's their backup Nathan Peterman or whoever. <laughs> that that would that would be something to see. But you know again, good franchises, good organizations always take care of the quarterback first. That's the number one position right now. We are in the modern uh, day NFL. You know this is offensive centric football that everybody's playing and the quarterback is the most important person on the field so you have to have that guy um locked up and you need a guy who can win you games you know you you don't need the instability you don't need quarterback competitions you don't need any of that any of that stuff you have to lock your guy in 
a guy who you know can win games, a guy who you know can get you to the playoffs. You got to lock him in. Um, but again, you know, this is typical Raider fashion type stuff. Like this is backwards. Uh, none of it, you know, is is uh, if if this doesn't end up happening, you know, all of this stuff wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. But you know, it is what it is. Like it. it <laughs> It is like, like I said, this is not really all that, you know, all the, the, the biggest news right now, but it will be, you know, it, if this does not get done, it will be, um, you know, especially when, 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 uh, uh, you know, when Baker, uh, when he is able to find a, a, a new home, when, if Jimmy G is able to find a new home, then, you know, the only person left, the only significant quarterback, uh, left without a contract would be, um, Derek Carr. So get it done, get it done. If you're the Raiders, get it done. I don't know what you're waiting for. But, um, hey, I'm a Charger fan, so go ahead and wait as long as you want to, um, you know, screw up your season and waste all the money on the free agents and uh, run Nathan Peterman out there on the field for us, please. But, uh, no, in, in all seriousness, though, in all seriousness, though, the, the Raiders need to take care of Derek Carr. Um, he's, been a, he's been a trooper. He's been a soldier, man. He, he stuck through. Uh, he stuck with the Raiders through all the bad, bad times, all the bad coaching, bad management. All of that stuff, he's still been there, you know, being the, the positive guy that he is. So, um, they got to get it done. They have to get it done. Um, I expect it to get done. Like I said, I don't know when, but when it does get done, pay attention to the terms of the contract. That will let you know um, how the Raiders feel, really feel, about Derek Carr. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, don't forget to uh, like this video. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. have more content coming out soon, very, very soon. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, until next time, guys.